Hey guys, Carbon Pony here. Today I thought I would take a look inside my keyboard because I just got a new keyboard as you can see here. Now what's special about this keyboard or what is not special about this keyboard is that it's pretty standard keyboard. It's if you would build a custom keyboard, you would build something like this. Let's just take a look. I want to disassemble all of this. I have done it before, but I want to show you guys how to do it. So what you're going to start by doing is take all the keycaps off. Now, this is pretty easy and it's meant to be like a guide. So you guys can follow it at home if you have a pretty standardized keyboard. If you have something like this, which is built uh, in metal here, it's going to be very hard to tear apart. And please don't do it. You're probably not gonna be able to assemble it again but if it's a standardized one like this it should be pretty easy now that we have all the keycaps off we can see all the switches and stabilizers here there's one thing special about this specific keyboard i have it has like an outer plastic line here on the case but that's not too hard to get off i just need one of these here and just get in between here and then just kind of this some places and then it's eventually gonna come off there's some clips. So now I have loosened this plastic part and I can just turn it over here and just take this thing off. Now there will be, for my here, there will be this thing which I want to save, a safe place. And then it's just basically unscrewing three screws in this one. On your there may be more screws but there may be not be the plastic cover. Then on most keyboards you can just turn it over here and take the back plate off which I also can on mine. But I do not want to do that because there is actually a battery in mine. And that is also something you gotta make sure before you do any of this is that your keyboard is unplugged and also turned off so if your battery. So I want to get this little plastic thing in here. Just get it up a bit. And then see here, what I actually want to do is turn it around here. Because then it's gonna be least but then because then the cable you can see i have here for the battery here is gonna have to go least here now you see i have some foam here which is to make it less noisy uh, most like cheap corsair ducky keyboard something that would be built like this doesn't come with any so you can also see i added some of my own here because i told you i had it over here so if you'd want to do any mods to your keyboard that's something that really helps, especially if it doesn't have any. I have had a ducky keyboard before we built like this with a plastic case and definitely totally worth it putting something in there. I didn't do it when I had the keyboard, but um, I would definitely do it today because it's not even hard. It's pretty easy. Now we have it open. That's pretty exciting, right? There's literally nothing left to do than to assemble it again. <laughs> And here I have it screwed in, so now I will be taking two of these, but it can be a lot of other things, just two sharp things, or maybe you have a switch puller, and that is just pretty straightforward, you know. But it could also just be a flat screwdriver and a knife or something. But I have these, which I have found out works pretty well. Now note, my keyboard is hot swappable, and you wouldn't be able to do this with most other keyboards. And your keyboard will be branded as hot swappable if it is. If not, do not try this. You will probably break it. So you can just take around here a switch, and then pull up like that. And you need to put, pull pretty straight up so you don't bend the small pins that is here. So now you can look at your switch here. It's a pre pretty cool, right? So you can see here, I have the switch. And there is a spring. Oh, if it wants to focus, there's a spring in the switch here, which pretty much is the force. And then in the switch, there is um, what we call a total travel, which is the uh, travel until you hit the bottom here, which in this. In this switch is four millimeters that's the total travel distance then there is the activation point here which is at two millimeters which is halfway through so about like here or something so this is a very linear switch which is good for gaming something that would be good for typing is a tactile which at the activation point has a little bit of a force you have to go through you have to go over and we can talk way more in depth about that but that has to be in another video. This is just a quick video here. But uh, when you want to set it on again, just make sure it is at the right angle and just put, put it over and press down. And now it's in again. It's all working fine. 
So yeah, that is basically it. Then it's just getting everything assembled again, which is not very hard. Here I of course have this little plastic thing which is set here. Then I have to press this thing over here. And here I need to press really down, just press down very much just and sometimes on the bottom here it, uh, if you don't press down enough it will wiggle a little just really press down apply some force it's okay but now um, yeah uh, there's just the uh, keycaps we should be put on and there's not really anything left to do so subscribe to carbon ponies today and get 1000 free v bucks tomorrow see ya